that we've asked for. You know, it would just take one simple phone call from the Deputy Attorney General to Michael Horwitz, who has all these documents, who's testified under oath that it's not a yeah. problem to give it to Congress and it wouldn't impede his investigation. Make that phone call today. Let's get the documents. Let's do it this, this week. And if this Attorney General and Deputy Attorney General can't do it, let's find two who will. Wow. Uh, here to respond to that interview yesterday, the man tapped by the DOJ to speed things up. U.S. Attorney John Lausch. Uh, John, uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for doing this. Someone's got to do it. Uh, first off, what's your response to them? Let's see all the documents. Just let me have them. Right. So uh, first, I mean, clearly we need to do a better job at the department and the FBI at getting materials to, to the House committee um, to do their job. Uh, it was made very clear to me by the attorney general in giving me this task that we're to produce documents quickly um, were to do so completely under the law right. and to do so with, you know, kind of fairness, integrity, and professionalism. Okay. I, well, today is the deadline day. David, David Nunes has made it very clear he wants to see that two-page FISA application. Why can't you turn it over by noon? Okay. And so, so that, that, that FISA application, that particular thing is, is being handled elsewhere in, in the department. And I expect the people, you know, are, are taking... Uh, his his concern and that issue very seriously Why and we'll address it appropriately it? today. It seems like well, something up your alley because so far the DOJ has not really been helpful to Capitol Hill. Right. Well, so right right now, um, I mean, my job is to deal with the documents um, that are have been responsive to the Goodlat subpoena. Um, there's a lot of documents that are being reviewed. We need to do a better job of looking at those more quickly, addressing the redaction issues in those, and then getting them over to the committee. Mm -hmm. Well, do you believe that Congress has a constitutional right to oversight? And if you do, how is it possible that the DOJ is refusing to hand over these documents? Yeah, and so look, to be clear, the DOJ is not refusing to hand over anything. And of course, Congress has, um, they have a right and obligation to do their job, which includes oversight. I mean, what, what our job and what my job will be is to ensure that we have a process, a better process than we've had going forward so far to get them the materials that they're entitled to, mm -hmm. while at the same time um, ensuring that the legal rights uh, uh, that of, of individuals that are in those documents are protected. For instance, there might be grand jury material in some of those documents. We have a legal duty as prosecutors not to provide those materials, and, and Congress understands that. All of that said, we, we need to do better. We need to do much better. Well, uh, uh, well a couple of things. Just to, just to answer this, the former chairman of the Oversight, Jason Chaffetz, says this, the relevant documents are all of the documents. If you are producing, if you are produced a subpoena, you comply with all of it. It's not optional. You don't get to hand pick this. So you don't get to hand pick it. Just hand them over. Right. Well, and, and the key there is, is to produce the relevant documents. And I think there's right. you know, maybe one misnomer that's out there. The number that's been thrown around um, is, is actually a much broader set. The 1.2 is a much broader right. set than, than documents that are actually related sure. to the Clinton email investigation. And, and so I, that's I, one of the things we need to do. And I understand the DOJ yep. released another 3,000 to uh, government uh, congressional investigators, I think, on Monday. But what I've heard from one investigator is that uh, most of the copies were useless because they are simply duplications of what they've already gotten in the past. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's clear to me, I've only been at this for a couple of days now, it's clear to me that we need to do a better job well, at getting John, them relevant John, material. John, will you, clarify, will you yeah. clarify, you said at the beginning of the interview, the two pages, the FISA warrant application, that's what everyone wants to see. They want to find out what reason the DOJ had to spy on the Trump campaign. And so that, those two documents are very important. But did you say that you're not overseeing that? I, I, I'm not. That, that's being handled elsewhere. All okay, right. So, so you, will we be able to see those two? Do you even know? I, I don't. I don't know. Okay. So you're handling. It, it's a serious question, and, and you know, serious people in the Department of Justice right. will be addressing that today. So you're handling the document production for the Goodlatte subpoena. Exactly. But here's a question: Isn't there an inherent conflict with the people who are doing, who are implicated in the documents, doing the redactions? It, it, it's, I said this a moment ago, it's like uh, somebody grading their own paper because what we have seen in the past is some things were completely redacted and then congressional investigators found out later, wait a minute, they were just protecting themselves like that uh, the FISA judge and Peter Strzok, their best friends, that was redacted when it got sent up to Capitol Hill. Right. I mean, so look, so I think I think it's one of the reasons why I'm here as as an outsider, someone from outside of D.C. to come in here in order to look at the process and in particular to look at the redactions and to make sure, um, one, that there aren't any redactions right. based on embarrassment. That, that's not an appropriate reason and it's never been an appropriate reason. 
um, they should get the materials um, while at the same time ensuring that um, that certain material that that lawfully should not be provided things like grand jury material John, or John, ongoing investigations are you the, are you the sole arbiter of what will be redacted and what would not are uh, you going to bring anyone to look over your shoulder to agree with it to wipe out any type of uh, fear that you're not getting the whole story Right. Well, look, I, I'm, I'm going to have, you know, a, a, a team of people working with me to make sure we do a good job. Are they here. the same people um, who have been doing it? Um, that I, some of the people will be the same, but I'm going to it's going to be my responsibility to make sure that I'm comfortable with the team that's around me in order to ensure that John, we're getting the right materials. Rod there. Rosenstein, who is um, Mueller's best friend, one of his closest friends, it appears that he's trying to protect people that are abusing power. What do you what do you see in the what have you seen in the last few days since you've been appointed this position? Yeah, I, 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 I haven't seen that at all. I mean, you know, look, I, I, I I'm out here to, to, to do a job, you know, in the Justice Department. You know, we're doing our very best um, to get this right, and I think that's one of the reasons why I'm out here. All right, lastly, just, John, what is the problem? It's taken months. We've only got 1,000. We need 1.2 million. You just got there a few days ago. Tell everybody what the right. problem was. Right. So, so look, I'm still trying to identify what all of the issues are there. And as I mentioned before, 1.2 million is, is, is kind of not the right number as far as relevance. It's clear, though, that we can improve some of the processes along the way to streamline it a little bit more and to ensure that any bottlenecks in the process are removed so we can move these documents more quickly. Well, can um, you, could, could yeah. you stop by next week and just tell us, you will have had a week, figure out what the problems were and tell us uh, the progress we've made so far? Well, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be happy to talk with, with the folks here at the department in order to, uh, um, you know, to talk with you know, people in Congress and you all in order to make sure that, that we're keeping you know, the, the American people up to date on what we're doing. Well, people want to know that the Department of Justice is just and fair and not just uh, protecting people who work. That was your lucky day when you got appointed this position. <laughs> Right. Well, I mean, look, as anyone else who works in the Justice Department, I mean, we have a strong affinity for the Justice Department and, and, and we need to do a good job. Yeah. Just We're counting on you. Okay. We thank are. you. John Lauch, thanks. thanks. All right. 19 minutes before the top of the hour. Straight ahead. House Majority Whip Steve Scalise is going to be with us live. Tell us what Congress is going to be doing today, what they're going to be asking uh, Mark Zuckerberg. And uh, Jason Chaffetz will be here, as well as Newt Gingrich. Plus, an exclusive look at protecting the border from the water's edge. More of Griff's exclusive tour along the Rio Grande. This is where they ran out of gas. Sir, were you trying to cross to America?